Action. So this is a stretch, a standing stretch, because when you're doing the ones on the floor, it might be a little bit weird if you do that at work during lunch break and you have a proper job. Well, maybe not. Floor mat work is very good. But let's say you've got pain down the shoulders and pain down your back and you've got perhaps a scoliosis or maybe a lot of pain in this upper back. So this is a stretch and I'll show you so you can see what I'm doing. I tend to do this with my feet together rather than my knees apart, shoulder wide. So just pay attention to where your feet are. Have a sense of connection with the earth and grounding. I know your pain's all in the upper back. So if you don't have a frozen shoulder, if you can lift your arm above your head, let's say I've got pain down my left side, so I want to stretch my left side, so I take hold of my left wrist, left forearm, left wrist, keep the neck and head in good alignment, always. For those of you that know how to do this, you can engage the core, or not engage the core, but engaging the core is always a good idea, have a sense of what your abdominal muscles are doing. Lift up to get the traction, lift up to get the traction, stretching all through the left side, and gradually continue the movement and arc. So I'm stretching towards my right, my whole left side. All my left ribs are being open. They're all, it's a rib stretch. But also some of the back muscles, the uh, iliocostalis group. And I'll come back up to midline. Even if you have one-sided pain, it's a good idea to stretch both sides. So we'll go through that the other way around. So this time I'm going to take hold of my right wrist, lift up the arm up to the ceiling. So all of these right ribs are beginning to open. Lift up, helping with his other hand to get the traction, and continuing the stretch. This is a good speed. Good rule of thumb is allow five or ten seconds for stretch, but importantly just feel those tissues. Feel the joints open. I'll come back again. So when I do this, good idea to do both sides. First time let you good idea to do it maybe twice. First time you let your body know what you want it to do, let it warm up. Second time you might get a little more stretch. It's not about how far you get. But one thing I was going to say is imagine you're between two sheets of glass, so you're not going forwards or backwards, you're not twisting necessarily, you're in a a coronal plane. So you're between two sheets of glass. Lift up to get the stretch, but your focus, attention, is internal on your roots and joints. And then pull across to get that stretch. Okay, come back to midline. When you're better at this, you can swap your arms over. Lift up to get the stretch. And if you are working on a tight piece of muscle that you know it's there, rather than stay in a one plane, a coronal plane, you can actually play with a little rotation just to engage one particular part of the muscle more. So I'm rotating around to the right, or I mean trunk rotation or waist rotation, but always feeling it, always feeling it on the rotation. I'll show you what I mean by that. So you take the stretch up and I engage the tissues, feel it, ribs. And I might want to use some forward flexion, some bending forward, possibly some back rotation, but that's less likely you work it out. Or some rotation to one way or the other way. It won't be all of them, it will be one of them. You work out what feels right for you. Okay. 